All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. Don't this thing sound like 24s? That's how my roll, rolling drove. Twenty boy, that song is so boy. We used to be out there. Oh, that was that was before I was a gym star. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Y'all already know what time it is. If you like the video, hit that like button and uh, you know, support your boy, man, because we dropping the 2K heat every day of the week. And let's just get right into it, man. First things first. What are you going with? We got the Mustang 5.0. We ain't got women today, but it's something just as sexy. The Mustang 5.0 or the Hellcat. I say the Mustang 5.0. What? What? Or the Hellcat. Now, let me tell you something about my wife. My wife don't know. My wife loves cars. This is her favorite car ever. The Mustang. The Mustang. Why you? Why you? The Mustang 5.0. This, this is the, this, huh? How you leave me out of this way? Oh, okay. Well, you want to start it back over and you want to do it? No, go ahead. You already got it now, but you know, I've been saying, hey, I want to do something cars. Well, you want to start just jumping the scene and just act like we started it over? No, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, all right. Well, anyway, so look, this is her car of choice right here, but she want the red one. So one day when I get big on YouTube and all this stuff, purple once i get big on youtube and all this stuff happens we go this is her dream car once we get a house and get all the bills paid off and get all my credit and stuff up to eight thousand eight hundred or whatever you can get it to then we gonna get her one of these cars but she gotta drive it by herself because i gotta i gotta be in a position where, where i got multiple cars because i'm not putting my little boy in the back of that one not gonna lie to you i want the old school must and you he's definitely not getting in the back of that it ain't got no clips in the back and we ain't talking about uh malice this, or uh, this be when L days out the house. Oh, this be when he out the house. Well, in that case, yeah. But anyway, man, y'all let me know down in the comments which one y'all going with the Mustang 5.0 or the Hellcat. Everybody like what they like. Um, I can't choose between those two. If I could afford both, I would get both. But I would probably get the Mustang 5.0 first. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Anyway, speaking of the community, on to the community, man. My boy Bear the Beast, the NBA 2K. Uh, what was it? The season two MVP and uh and finals MVP champion, all that good stuff. He's putting on a tournament and he just says, "All right, it's about to, I'm I'm about to accept money for teams, add team and team and add team captains uh to the chat. Cash app is how you pay. A hundred dollars a team must have five on the team to compete. I mean, so I, I will not find I will not find you a team is what he's saying, and that will be com commentating the games." Um, on the Timberwolves, uh, you know, a Timberwolves account or whatever like that. So that's what he's saying in this video. He's also telling you straight out the bat, look here, bro, I'm taking my cut off top. So he said, if you got a problem with that, let's say we get 12 teams and it's like $1,200, he said the, the pot gonna be like a grand. He taking his off the top. That's why I rock with Bear, because he's a real dude, man. He's just gonna tell you, tell you, uh, tell you straight up, straight up from the, from, uh, from the, from the jump. What's going on, man? It ain't no, it's, it's all transparency. It ain't no, it ain't no guesswork or whatever, and um, and all that good stuff. And then you know we might do, hey, the winner of that tournament, we might uh, we we might just give him a give him a a, a, a first round of uh, what's it called an uh, automatic bid to the EPL. We gotta start the EPL, man. I don't know. I'm probably gonna start it at the beginning of January. I gotta get everybody together. Um, like I said, if you do got a team and you're interested in playing and all of that, I think we're just gonna do the first season gonna be free. And then after that, you know, we're going to go from there because not everybody's good enough to get into WR. Not everybody's good enough to get into to the other leagues or whatever. So I'm going to try to organize this joint with Berg and a few other people. And we're going to try to see if we can get something popping. And maybe we can be up there with WR and all that good stuff. And I can commentate those games, interview the winners and all that stuff, man. But the people that are not, it, it's got to be levels, man. So, hey, if we the bottom level and then you can, you can get, you, you got to get some film tape. So if you want to get into WR or some of these tournaments like this, you got to get tape out there. So at least you'll be playing against some quality competition, especially in this tournament or in the EPL, uh, Easy Premier League, if you don't know what that is. But uh, you can you can get your tape and then you can send that on to the people and then you can pro probably try to get to some other leagues, man. So that's all we got on that. Up next, we got the first ever flash packs. Crazy heat is, I mean, crazy heat in this one. Uh, you got Chris Bosch, Lamar Odom, the goods, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah. making their, yes, the uh, Lamar Odom, the goods, making their return. Uh, so he says you get Bosch, 
MJ, Lamar Odom, Ben Simmons, and a Ruby Zion Williamson. Ain't it crazy that they say that Zion Williamson is not going to be playing? And you get and collect all five for a taco fall. It's crazy that they say Zion Williamson probably won't be playing this season at all just because the nature of that injury. And I think they want him to get into NBA shape. It's not just the fact that he's injured or anything like that. They want him to get into NBA shape. It's obvious that his body would not be able to hold up under the 82. Like in college, what you play, 25, 30 games max um, during the season, maybe 35. That's, it's literally less than half of the NBA season. It was obvious that his body wasn't going to be able to hold up uh, throughout the duration of the entire NBA season at that weight and uh, all that. They just want to. They just want to go ahead and say, "Look, man, we don't want." We don't, we don't want to risk injury or anything. This is our franchise. Sit him for the whole first year, just like they did break different when he had the kneecap pop out of place. Get him in shape. Get him in NBA shape. Work on that jump shot. And he probably going to come back like D. Fish did. You know that your D. Fish sprained his ankle, and they put him on injury reserve the entire season, and then he came back against the Pacers. They said, well, D. Fish will be on the, on the uh, roster. He will be on the roster, the playoff roster. And then we found out when they played against the Pacers in the finals that he could shoot threes. We're like, bro, where did Fish come from? Because you know I'm a Reggie Miller fan. That was my favorite player ever. So I'm like, bro, D. Fish can't shoot threes. When he started shooting threes? And then they did an interview and he said, yeah, I sprained my ankle, had the high ankle sprain in the beginning of the year. All I could do is shoot. So I perfected the crowd. And that, plus his defense, he had a very long, long uh, career in the league. So you can do the same thing, young man. Get your defense right. Get your body right. Mind been right, money been right. You good on that. Get your body right. Take your time. It's a, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. They're both races though, but it's, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon, but they both races. Just want to be in the race. You don't want to be in the, anyway, on to the next thing, man. Uh, Nate Gates, another one of Mike Mong's burner account says, uh, did you, did you change how dunks with the right stick, I mean, the, the right stick again, because now every, anytime I attempt to dunk with the right or the left stick, I'm hopped now. Please respond. Mike says, no, nothing changed. And nothing has changed because I've been playing with it. Now, instead of going for the dunk, he's doing a foo-foo layup, but it's because my player isn't complete yet. So once he gets completed, he probably won't be going for that foo-foo layup or whatever. So, you know, it is what it is. We got that and it's all good. Um, but last but not least, this is what y'all came to the video for. Look here, boy. The TW house got a little drama going on. I said the TW house got a little drama going on. Drama's never a good thing, man. But you know, if you don't know, the, T, the team, TW's team witness is Hank the Tank, Colder Man, Hollywood, and uh, T-Jack, from, from what I understand. Now, we know that T-Jack moved from Whitney down. You know, T-Jack was, was, was with his girl. He moved from Whitney and he's now staying with, uh, you know, he joined Team Witness. He was TNB, now he's Team Witness. I don't know if he and his girl moved. I think they did. I think he and his girl moved. I'm gonna tell you just like this. I know T-Jack is probably not in this whole beef, but we gonna, we gonna visit the whole thing. When a, when a bunch of guys are living together and there's a female that lives there as well, that's normally gonna be one of the number one reasons that arguments and things start happening kind of behind the scenes, like low key arguments. When I got out of school, and if you if you did too, raise your hand, everybody did this when they were either in college or when they got out of college, they, they moved in, they got a roommate, everything was kosher. Then one of y'all start bringing your girl around. That's cool you bringing her around because we supposed to bring them around, but then they start being there when you're not there. And then it's like she's living there and not paying rent. And then it's like she's there all the damn time. Now, if she cooking, cleaning, doing all that good stuff, nobody don't care. I'm not trying to gender type. I'm just saying that you have to be pulling your weight in some capacity, right? I'm not saying that this is the reason that they're arguing, but I'm just saying that, like, like we've all had this this had, this had part happen. And then you got, especially if you got two or three, because I think we we moved into our first house. We had two or three dudes, too. And now uh, we had all just finished college. And then, like, one of one of our guys, his girl was always there. And we like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, like we dudes. We don't want your girl to be here all the time. But you know, that's an argument for a different day. This might not even be the basis of the argument because this was between Cole the Man and um and uh and Hollywood. Now uh, speaking of which, like I said, they might be cool. 
T-Jack's girl staying there might be all good. I, I don't know about that. I don't claim to know about that. I'm just saying that sometimes that is the cat. Most of the time, y'all know if y'all let me know down in the comments if you've been through that. A lot of times that is the catalyst. That's the low key behind the scene catalyst. Nobody's gonna say nothing, but it normally is the catalyst. Okay, so then once I, once I left that house, I had I went I went to another. I had got I got a townhouse and um, I moved in. Me and me and Bridget moved in together. And then my homeboy, Los God rest the dead, him and his girlfriend, they moved in with us. So it was two groups of people and it was him and his girlfriend and me and my girlfriend. That worked out perfectly and just fine, except for in certain situations because people want to argue how you gonna split the bills and stuff like that. And then like, like I said, it, 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 it can get messy, man. Especially when you're at that age and you're not. The, so, so you know what me and Bridget did after that? We just said, you know what? We make plenty of money. We're going to move into a place ourselves. And that's what we did. And then after we moved into a place ourselves, then so many other people, we just had, we, bro, we took in so many people that, well, I'm, I'm in between the apartment. Yeah, you can stay with us. We got three, we had a three bedroom apartment. We didn't care. You stay right there. And then, you know, they'll stay there for a little while and, and move on. And then, you know, people will stay. But anyway, that's, that's, that's too much stuff. Anyway, let's just get down to the beef and the drama and all that. I just want to give y'all a little basis behind why stuff like this tends to happen here to here so apparently last night your boy let me try i'm gonna try some of this epidemic sound down a little bit so you can hear him. but apparently this happened last night let's get it hold on hold on one second we gonna let's pause the music i was trying to Mm. Let's skip ahead. You're fucking streaming at 7 a.m. Fucking, I'm trying to sleep. It's fucking annoying. Your dog literally barks till 4 in the fucking nah, nah, morning. Fuck All he hears. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't gonna lie. Them dogs do be barking now. Worry about yourself. Worry about yourself. He tell him worry about himself. Nah, you suck my dick, bro. Nah, wow. Nah. Woo, these are some heated words. Nah, dude. Yeah, all right, bro. Bet. Keep talking like that. Keep that energy when I get off the game. Keep that fucking energy. Oh, let's get him. And he got him. When he told me somebody, to, he did everything except clout. And he went and closed the door so they can have this conversation outside. Then we skip ahead. Mm. Woo, he said he don't want to be in TW no more. So like I said, man, it seems like, like I said, what I was talking about there wasn't a catalyst for the argument. But I will tell you this. I bet it's got some stuff behind the scene because people were asking about it and all that. Now, that was cold, a man going back and forth with Hollywood. Um, and like I said, it just seemed like they're feeling the pressure, man. Like, I don't know if they're, if, if, I mean, all of them are successful streamers. All of them are successful on YouTube. I, myself, cannot let anything get into in the way of the money. Now, Hollywood was saying stuff like, we're supposed to be in another house, we're supposed to be here, we're supposed to be gone, all that stuff. The next thing you see from Hollywood on Twitter, hey, I'm on my solo-ish, F this team. Now, I'm gonna tell you, that's gonna be kinda tough, my guy, because because you're with the team, um, oh, so then they say Hollywood DF, I ain't falling for it, it's it's not crap, bro. Uh, like, some people think that it's some, that it's some BS or whatever. Um, it seemed pretty real to me. It seemed like the tensions just happened and uh, a colder man just came in. He was like, bro, you streaming while I'm trying to sleep. From my understanding, this is a streamer house. This is a this is a streamer house. This is a content creation house. So I feel like you can't get mad if somebody, you know how we do when we play 2K and we're streaming. You can't be like that, man. You know what time it is. You know what you signed up for when you came down there. A lot of this stuff is you know what you signed up for. The reason that I was saying it probably has something to do low-key with T-Jack's girl is just because of the fact that when you really look at it, like that's the thing that everybody didn't sign up for, or maybe they did. If you signed up for something, you can't get mad at it. It's like, why are you mad when you knew, you knew that it was a content creator's house? Like, you know it's a content creator's house. So you know that people are gonna be streaming, you know, during, during weird hours. You know, cause everybody can't stream at the same time, obviously. You know that people are gonna be doing things during certain hours and all that. What we don't know is that your dog is gonna be barking all, to, all, all hours of the night. I had a dog back then, but I had a dog and he didn't bark. 
Uh, my dog, my dog didn't bark at all. He only barked if somebody came to the door or snooping around the house. So you know, like that. But these are the things that you didn't sign up for. But how can you get mad at that man for streaming? in a streamer house. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not that close to the situation, so I can't say this is my, this is my objective opinion. I don't know any of these guys, I don't know nothing about none of them. I don't know the agreement that they had, but I can just tell you that those are the things that nobody signed up for. Nobody signed up to have somebody's girl there, nobody signed up to hear your dog barking. It's, it, it doesn't matter what time of day, you don't know my sleep schedule, you don't know my content creation schedule, you don't know any of that, or maybe you do. But you can't tell me that I'm supposed to be up. If my dog is barking, you probably need to do something about your dog barking. That's what I feel like. But because because uh, unless you signed up for the dog, then you can't say nothing about the dog either. If you agree that he can have the dog and you know that the dog barks, then you can't really say nothing about that either. He, it's his responsibility to try to keep him under control. But you know it is what it is. But the streaming and the screaming and all that stuff, bro, you know what you signed up for. They should have a streamer room and they should put those pads on the wall, make the room as soundproof as possible, and do it like that if they're able to. But you know what you signed up for with the streaming. So anyway, we go on to T-Jax joints, and T-Jax says your friends are really not your friends. I'm done. This is why I said I read this before. This is why I said he probably had something to do with it. And then um, Hollywood did say something about the whole t Jack's girl being there and blah, blah, blah. But he said at least t Jack will, will voice his opinion and he ain't no punk. And he'll just say what he got to say and be like, hey, if this, this is the idea, this is how it is. And he'll voice, and you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they say, I wish you guys knew what went on behind closed doors. I'd never been around an environment this toxic. And he was in Nate's house. And right, he was in the house with Nate and Nate's girl and all that stuff. Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe it was Nate's girl that made, that, that kind of forced t Jack out. And all this stuff, and I'm just I'm just talking out my out my wazoo. Y'all let me know how that nay incident went. And then he said, This is freaking ridiculous. Hey, this is all you see from that. And of course, you see the frustration on his face. I and mean, he said, it said, look like, look like he rolled. Oh, look like he rolled. We, we don't care about all that. Hank the tank said, This is exactly why I haven't been uploading LMFAO. I just I, I've just been minding my own business. I understand it. I can feel you, bro. But I mean, if you're the team leader, that's your house. You gotta, you gotta kind of do what you gotta do. Um, Cole the man, aka Bo the man, said. Um, he says, y'all want to expose me? Got so much ish on everyone in this house. That's the thing I don't like. But we're gonna talk about that in a second. I hate lazy MFs. I can rock with you on that. If we content creators and we're supposed to be doing this thing and get this thing popping, you're supposed to be doing what you're supposed to be doing. You see me grinding. You should be grinding just as hard. I rock. I'm with you on that, Cole. We know Cole put out video. I can expose so many people in this house. So freaking toxic. Done with this ish. Don't do that, man. Exposed culture is never a good thing, man. That's what that's that's female trait. We don't we don't do that. Tired of living with inconsiderate. Oh, females. I haven't been happy at all these past few months. This is T, this TW ish is over. So many snakes in this house. So many lazy MFs too. Oh, I can't stand a lazy person. Neither bold a man. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't stand. You see how I be grinding it out and putting out videos every day. Some most of the time, two videos every day. I can't stand lazy people that have the platform and they ready to get this they, they joint to the next level and they just won't do it because they, they get in the way of themselves. I don't like people to get in their own way. Anyway, like I said, it could have nothing at all to do with T Jack Girl. It could just be the whole thing. Um, you know about the whole thing. I think it's some I think it's an underlying issue, but that's just me and obviously y'all know Y'all know that your boy EJ did some type of uh Parody on the whole thing. So, you know, it is what it is But I'm not gonna show this because if they ain't gonna video it'll be 20 minutes anyway Like I said, I hope those guys get it together because you got to keep your eye on what's important regardless of what's going on y'all can talk about this behind closed doors y'all can figure it out there's way too much money involved for y'all to be breaking up and all of that and maybe money ain't everything and maybe you're from a situation where you don't have to worry about money and stuff like that and if you are that's cool but i ain't from that type of situation i gotta go get it all right that's all i can tell you i got to go get it these 60 videos I'm trying to put out this month, I got to go get it. Ain't nobody paying my bills. I ain't got nothing, no ancillary type of income coming in except for these shirts, all y'all shirts going out today. But I, I got to go get it. So it's really nothing that nobody can tell me that's going to keep me from getting to the money. <laughs> your girl here? <laughs> Are we still getting money? That's fine with me. Oh, your dog here? <laughs> I go get some earmuffs and sleep like this in my chair. That's fine with me, but I got to go get the money. Go get the money. 
go get the money go get the money this is an opportunity that you guys will never ever get again you young you popping you got all this stuff going for you if you ignore everything else i said in the, in the beginning you young you popping everybody know who y'all are y'all getting mad views on videos and you are <clears throat> You're not gonna get this opportunity again. Take it from somebody that was popping on YouTube one time at the inception of YouTube. I took a break off for 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 for, for different reasons. Boom, never was popping again. This stuff I ain't promised to you. You young, you're popping. You about to be rich if you just hold it down and stick this out, and then you ain't never gotta see each other again. But get that money. Hey, forget all the other stuff. Forget the stuff. Deal with the stuff. Deal with deal with the girl being there. Deal with. And like I said, it might not even be a problem. Deal with the dog. Deal with the odd ass stream hours. Deal with the living conditions where y'all haven't been able to move or anything like that yet. But just know, don't expose nothing because once you go the way of exposing, you really can't go back. Leave that exposed stuff alone. Figure it out. Work together. Put this content out. Spin this into the same way y'all did when uh when they said it was what it was when y'all the, the TW house got robbed or there was a shooting in the neighborhood or something like that when the cops was in whatever. Spin that into a positive. Everybody looking at y'all right now. Put out good content. Get the money. Use this to elevate your platform and go from there, man. Damn all this not getting money stuff. Damn that. Get the money by any means necessary because you might not get another chance. That's all I got to say to y'all, man. Y'all let me know what y'all say down in the comments, man. Mustang. Hellcat. Mustang. Damn, that thing pretty. Breaking news. Hellcat. Rest in peace to radio. Radio? Yeah. Football player. See, uh, radio took the place of the person that Cuba Gooden Oh, Radio died? Yeah. Oh, man. Rest in peace to radio, man. We talked to the, the guy that, um, the guy that Cuba Gooden Jr. played in radio. He just passed away just now, so... Are uh, we going to Godspeed to you, man? Anyway, y'all boys, now y'all see how quick life goes by. It ain't promised to you. Get this money. Do whatever y'all got to do. Set yourselves and your families up and your future babies that's not even got here and your doggone grandkids up for the rest of their life. Elevate them. Don't think about just now. This is bigger than just you. You're trying to elevate the people that's going to come after you past generations and all that stuff, man. That's what you're trying to do right now. Do whatever you got to do right now to get to that point, and I'm gone. God, speak!